Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to an EC2 instance from a Mac machine. I will create an Ubuntu 18.04 instance in Amazon AWS and connect to the instance by using a Mac machine. So I start the browser and then go to my AWS account. I will use an AWS student account for this demonstration. So I go to aws.amazon.com slash education slash aws educate. Then I log in to my account. And then I go to my classroom and then I go to this specific classroom and I continue and then I log into AWS console and that brings me to AWS management console now if you are using a different type of account for example AWS free tier account or a regular AWS account after you log in, it will bring you to AWS Management Console. So I go to EC2 or launch a virtual machine. I'm going to use the resources that are under free tier. So I select free tier only. And then from the list of AMIs, I will select Ubuntu Server 18.04 LTS. Then from the instance type, I select the one that is free tier eligible, which is T2 Micro, and then go next. I want to connect to this Linux instance from my place over the internet. So I need to make sure that a public IP address is assigned to this instance. Then I go next. An eight gigabyte of hard drive has been allocated to this instance. So I go next. I will add a tag to this machine so that I can find this machine easily by using tag. So go next. On this uh, security group settings, I will create a new security group. I can also use an existing security group. To connect remotely over the internet, I need SSH type of connection for Linux machine. So I select SSH. Also, I want to make sure that I can connect to this instance from anywhere, from my home or from my workplace. So I select anywhere. And then I go Review and launch. It is, it is showing the summary of this machine instance. It's Ubuntu Server 18.04 T2 Micro type instance. Security group allows connection from anywhere over port number 22. So I'll launch. Now I can use an existing key pair or I can create a new key pair. I will create a new key pair and then give a name to this key pair and then I will download this key pair so the key pair has been downloaded now I will launch the instance and then view instances so this is the instance that is being created. When the instance creation process will finish, it will change the status from initializing to 
check two of two. Now if I go to the tags tab, these are the two instances that I created from this Mac machine. Let's go back to the EC2 dashboard and let's see the status of the instance that I am creating. This is still initializing. The instance is ready. Now I select the instance and click on the connect button. Now it is giving me the information to connect to this instance. To connect to a Linux instance, I need SSH type of connection and I can use any type of terminal. Now for this specific instance, the SSH command is given on this screen. So I copy this command. And then I go to Mac terminal. and I paste the command. Now I need to make sure that I'm using the right key file name. In this command example, I have Ubuntu space from space mac.pm. Let me check the file name. I can see that the key file name is Ubuntu from Mac without any spaces. So I fix the command in the terminal. And then press enter. However, I see an error message which is saying warning identity file Ubuntu from Mac.pm not accessible, no such file or directory. So this connection is not gonna work until I fix that issue. As you can see, permission denied. First, I will check if this file exists. So I use the command ls and I can see the file doesn't exist in the current directory. So I will go to the directory where this file is downloaded and then check if the file is there. And I can see that Ubuntu from Mac.pm is here. So I will issue the command here. And then press enter. Permission denied, but this time it's not saying that the file doesn't exist. I did not set appropriate permission for this key file. So I will give appropriate permission on the key file. And then I will issue the command again. Now you can see that the connection is successful. Now I can configure this Ubuntu server by using different commands. I will use a simple update command. and the server is being updated.
So I could connect to this Ubuntu instance from my Mac machine. I will exit from this connection by typing exit. So I exit from the terminal. And close it. I can close this window and I can shut down this instance. So in this demo, I created a Ubuntu 18.04 EC2 instance and I connected to that instance by using SSH command through my Mac terminal. And that is the end of this demo. I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to receive notifications on future videos, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and set up notification by tapping on the bell. Thank you for watching.